Prince Harry has simply been advised to, well, at best, tell the truth. But is this something, of course, that we've come to expect from the former royal known as the Duke of Sussex? As ever, let me explain. Nice to see you today on this wet and windy, once again, London. Apparently, get this if you come into London, I know you can't believe everything that you hear in the weather forecasters. I know we've mentioned this before, haven't we? But apparently we're going to have something like 30 days of rain. It sounds like something out of the Bible, doesn't it? You know, can you really? <laughs> I mean, you know, they say this and then they said, oh, it's going to be terrible weather on the bank holiday. That was a couple of days ago now. Spectacular weather, few showers, but not that bad. But the way they portray it, you think you're going to have to get the dinghy out. Yeah, well, if there's any spare, they're all busy down in Dover, aren't they? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Back as ever to your royal story of the day. People might suggest it would make perfect sense now if you think about it, because as you know, with the likes of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they have a very strange relationship with the truth. Everything from the Oprah Winfrey interview, everything to Prince Harry's visa, what is now said in the book, because, you know, everybody bought that book. And let's be honest about this. People bought that book thinking this was the definitive story because obviously Harry wanted to get those stuff out there. He literally went on record claiming that nobody had assisted him. It was his story, him and the ghostwriter who was paid a million pounds. And then, of course, things started to evolve. In particular, this version of events, which now apparently he could have exaggerated his drug taking uh, just to make the book sell a little bit more. Why on earth would you think this is a good idea? What a clotted he truly is. It developed even further, you see, because the other side of the coin was this, that Harry now obviously wanting to try and get the visa sorted out has got a huge problem because it now seems himself to slide in further and further in the political arena. So much so that President Joe Biden now could be getting involved. And this is simply making a mockery. Prince Harry is making a mockery of the American law system regarding drugs. And this could really, truly fire up. You see, if he's been given special treatment, this is a guy who is nobody now. You know, he's not aligned as a working member to the British monarchy. He's simply someone who married a cable TV actress, got a lot of money spilling secrets about his family, and now lives in Montecito. That's it in a nutshell. But in the political game, you see, there's always things to be had. And I've been told from an excellent source that, yes, you know, President Joe Biden wouldn't mind assisting in any shape or form. Of course, because of his allegiance to the British monarchy. Don't buy that for one second. You see, what they really want and what really Meghan would like is a fuller endorsement of that particular party. Now, they don't care about her. She is nothing to them. But of course, the son of the King of England and of course, the future King of England, the brother, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, Prince William, that does have some cachet. Or whatever they decide to swing with the lawyers, the White House, whatever, because they're basically saying that it would be an infringement of his privacy, but the infringement of every other person that has to go through this particular check. Doesn't make sense, you see? Here again is where it gets interesting because according to a very well-placed source, Meghan Markle's very keen to push along with this, thinks it would be an ideal way to draw a line under this whole mess. Of course, you know, as we've said before, Harry being Harry, not the brightest of bulbs and will go along with anything, even though now we're supposed to believe he wasn't telling the truth in his book that he shelled out with. You get the picture. As we head more and more towards November, they will be recalling in their favours. And the true story about this is that Harry and Meghan are now going into a very slippery slope in the murky political world. But while Harry may have not clicked onto the idea, Meghan certainly has. Neil Sean in the very heart of wet London.